Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International New Artist and Educator here and today we are going to create something a little bit different. Check this out. Extreme 3D, uh, which we are going to do a beautiful ball and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe. If you're an existing member, uh, hit the notification bell, bell just so you don't miss any future tutorials. Let's start. I've got the tip which I'm going to buff in here just so we can paint it with the gel polish clean it well and I have made the bow in pink in here so now I think we will use um, lighter pink or purple or maybe pur purple let's go purple so I've got some purple and I love this purple <laughs> it's a really nice color and now using the D liner What's my new brush? I love them, honestly, guys, they're so amazing. I'm just cleaning it off with the glitter, from the glitter. And we are going to paint those cute 3D gel polish bow. Okay, if we've got this one this way, so let's do it. Okay, let's do it this way. So we're starting painting a line. We don't need to go as raised as I'm going on the tips for the client. But what I love about it is that it feels smooth. So even if it's pretty raised and 3D look, it's not catchy. And it's not going to come off because it's built into the needle. And so that's the first of part of the design done. So we're painting the slime. Now we need to imagine here is the middle of the bow, so I'm just going to indicate that a little bit, so I know where to paint the bow. And what I'm doing is two lines this way, two lines, two lines, and now just join this in, join this in. It's a kind of like a love heart shape. Join that in. Nothing too complicated with the shape. And after we have finished this part, we have to cure it. So I'm going to cure my tip. And in the meantime, we're going to uh, get our foil design gel for the dots. And also we will use for some fine lines as well. Oh, I'm so messy sometimes, <laughs> like, you know, sometimes I'm feeling like uh, my hands are all dirty up to the, um, up to the elbows. Is that elbows? Yeah, I think it is elbows. <laughs> so now I've got a tiny bit of those purple on my brush and I'm going to put it, put it into the black as well because I want some shadows. So a little shadow little shadow also we need to indicate this middle I'm going to just add a little shadow underneath as well One line, other line, so basic design really. And now we're taking the dotting tool and going to do a couple of the dots. We'll make them all different sizes, so some of them much bigger, some of them smaller. So 
So if I've got small, next one is going to be bigger. Bigger, smaller, half a dot. Some dot in here. And we can also put some dots on the side as well. Okay. Now we have to cure it. And prep some gel. So I'm just going to use the clear fiber gel. You can use any kind of clear gel. You have it on the side. You don't need a lot. It's a really tiny bit. And a little bit of the top coat as well. So my bow is cure and now I need to top coat it. If I would top coat it afterwards, I would lose the 3D effect. And I really don't want that. There is an also awesome tutorial on the butterfly. Uh, same with the 3D glass technique, check it out. And lots of other different tutorials like those nails, those nails. Um, actually quite a lot in there now. Uh, I'm putting the videos, if you're new in here, I'm putting the videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And guys, thank you so much for all your comments, like how many years you have been doing nails and uh, the questions. Um, the post when I put it up, what you have been doing as well, like, so thank you so much. It just lets me uh, meet you more as well. Now I'm curious, actually, when is your birthday? So what month are you, uh, what month are you born? I'm just, or I, yeah, yeah, tell me what month are you born? Anyway, I've got the sweet blob of the gel and I'm applying it on my bowl. I don't want to put it on the parts where I've got the ribbon, so only where the ball is. Yeah, let me know what month are you born. In a day, maybe there is someone, oh no, maybe there is someone who has the same day for the birthday. So you can see I have make a blob of the product in here. I need to clean that. So by adding those layer of the build your gel, we're able to build up those texture and raise the height. I'm going to flash cure it. With this technique there is quite a lot of flash curing just so we can get really nice sticking out results. Ah, I'm just hiding with you. For the colder months, this technique is actually better because uh, I've got really warm in here today. I've got one more line. Another line. And I'm going to flash cure it. So the first one you're painting all over, then the next one only at the edges. So I'm painting one side quickly, other side and cure it. We're almost at the end of this design, so nothing overly too complicated. I've got uh, my mixing palette and I'm just going to uh, give those extra detail with the top coat. Now I'm going to swap to the fine liner brush because I don't want that to be too thick and I want them to be really sharp. So after each line I'm going to pop it inside the lamp for a couple seconds. So 
one line, freeze it. Because honestly, it's so roasting here, like the gel polish is like a water. I should put it to the freezer. <laughs> and then in the middle part, a dot inside. Would be much easier to paint it then. And now I'm going to add those detail on this bow. Pop it, pop it into the lamp. Give it a cure. And we're going to paint those next lines. So. Blob of the product, leave it in, freeze it, freeze it. If the temperature just allowed you to do it, do it a couple of the lines. Mine is like a dozen. Freeze it. So if you will be working on the clients, you will be swapping the hands. One hand, other hand, one hand, other hand. <laughs> Just painting inside. And we start in getting a textures. I will do maybe two more lines and then show you the side view. Is it says two lines and continue doing many more? Okay, I'm going to just cook it quickly and show you the razor look. I would probably add two more rows of the lines just to make it even more 3D. Now you can see it, it's already. Has this raise it look, and I definitely want more on this side. So a blob, you can go even outside the pattern you have painted a little bit. And this technique is fantastic because you can just paint anything you want really and then just um, just apply those top coats over it the more complicated design you paint underneath the beautiful the more beautiful it is looking okay that's my final look so 30 seconds cure just to Close this top coat, uh, cure it properly, and then I show you how nice it looks. But check out the butterfly as well, I think it's fantastic. So that's this bow in here, nice and 3D. And I show you the other one once it's cooked. So I love this part, like it's sticking out so nice. Which is better this way and here as well you can see it like it is coming off from the tip so that was another quick and easy tutorial for you if you liked it and that's a first visit on this channel hit the subscribe button if you are existing subscriber hit the notification bell to don't miss any future tutorials for me thank you so much for watching glittery hacks and bye for now <laughs>